Once upon a time, in a city in Africa, lived a young man named Omo. Omo is 37 years old, and a big-time businessman. He imports electronics and sells both wholesale and retail. Omo also owns a very successful company that produces bathing soap in the city. Omo's mother, Madam Akudo, is a very controlling woman. Whatever she wants, she gets. Even if it doesn't have to do with her, nobody in the family dares to disobey her, she will stop at nothing, till she has her way. But her son, Omo, is the direct opposite of his mother. Omo is very reserved, he doesn't talk a lot, he doesn't like argument or anything that will stress him at all, he just plans things in his mind, and carry them out when he is ready, and in that way, he surprises a lot of people around him. When Omo turned 34 years old, on his birthday, that evening, Omo's mother Akudo, who was in the village, called to wish her son happy birthday. After she did, she started nagging and putting pressure on Omo to get married that she needs grandchildren. Omo told her he has a girlfriend who he wants to get married to in the city, but Akudo, Omo's mother refused and said Omo must marry from their village. Because of the pressure from his mother, demanding for grandchildren, Omo did not go to the village for two years, just to avoid the mother's nagging. On his 36th birthday, Omo's mother called as usual to wish her son happy birthday, but this time, she told him she is sick and might be dying, that Omo must come home and check on her, and also spend time for the upcoming village festival. Ogugu festival is the biggest festival in Omo's village, most of the people from the village always comes home for the festival, even those outside the country also comes to attend the festival. The Ogugu festival is the time most youths from the village comes home to pick out wives, so it is also a hunting season for all the men and women who are ready for marriage. So Omo agreed that he will come home. The day came and Omo traveled home. When he arrived at the village, everywhere was lively, he has missed the pride and beauty of his village and was excited to be home. Omo soon realized that his mother lied to get him home, she was not sick at all, it was one of her manipulative ways to lure him to the village during the festival season so she can look for a girl for him to marry. Omo who doesn't like argument kept quiet and never said anything to the mother when she started the issues of grandchildren. He just smiled and won't say a word. As days passed, the festival was an exciting one and Omo was glad he came, he had actually missed how things were done in the village, it was packed with excitement from people who were based all over the world. All the young ladies and men who were aspiring, or planning to get a wife or a husband, never disappoints, everybody dressed their best during the Ogugu festive period, which is celebrated for five days, in that five days. There will be cultural dancing and display of art and magic by the village. Magicians and several other activities. The celebration starts at midday at the village square, where everybody will parade themselves and those who are ready for marriage will seek to pick the best and beautiful ladies in the village to get married to. Omo attended all the festivals, but always leaves when it was time for picking wives and husbands. One evening, Omo was in his room playing video game and being his usual reserved self, as he has no friends to visit in the village. Akudo, Omo's mother came home with a young lady, she had told the lady that Omo is ready to get married, and that she, Akudo would like to marry the lady for her son Omo, the lady was excited and followed Akudo home to visit Omo. In their village, it is a custom that parents can choose who their sons and daughters marry, but their son must give their consent for that to happen, which is not the same as their daughters. Akudo brought the lady to Omo's room and introduced her to Omo as a wife she is marrying for him, Omo smiled and said nothing. Akudo left the lady in Omo's room and said they need to get to know each other and left. Later that evening, Akudo came to Omo's room and the lady was gone, she asked Omo about her and he said she has gone home, Akudo was very excited and asked Omo, so do you think she is the one? 
Omo smiled and said, Mama, the one, is with me in the city, this one, I am just doing it for you, the mother said, yes, do it for me my son. So, what do you think about her, do you like her? Omo said, not really, she is very shy and not that educated, he thought by saying that, his mother will back down, but she said, don't worry, tomorrow, I will bring another girl, there are so many beautiful ladies in this village looking for husbands, and you know your father, even though he is late, is still one of the richest man in this village by the amount of land and businesses he owns here, these ladies will throw themselves at you, Omo smiled and said nothing. The next day, in the morning, the mother came home with another lady, this one is a bit forward, as she came in and saw Omo in the sitting room, she went straight and sat next to him, Omo smiled and said nothing. Akudo said, you guys can go to his room, I have a program I love to watch around this time so that I don't disturb you, so Omo and the lady went to Omo's room. Later that day, Akudo, Omo's mother who dozed off while watching her favorite program woke up and saw Omo in the sitting room eating. She asked him what happened with the young lady and Omo said, she has gone home, that this one is just too forward, he doesn't want anybody that will give him stress in life, so Omo's mother said, okay, it is fine, I will bring another one home later this evening, don't worry I'm sure you will find at least one, that you will like among all the ladies in this village. That was how Akudo continued to bring ladies for Omo till she had brought over 14 ladies to see her son Omo. The festive season was over and Omo went back to the city, he went back to his girlfriend, back to his life and business. Five months passed and Omo's mother called him screaming over the phone, she said, the king has summoned Omo to the village, that all those girls she brought to Omo, 11 of them are heavily pregnant and they are all claiming that Omo is responsible, but she knows that they are all lying. A date was set for Omo to come down to the village and face the judgment from the king, as the day came, Omo arrived at the village that morning, and went straight to the king's palace, as he got there he saw all the 11 ladies heavily pregnant, claiming they are all pregnant for him and he must marry them. After a while, Omo's mother Akudo arrived at the palace and the meeting started, each lady explained how she met with Omo and what transpired, when it was Omo's time to speak. He came and stood in the middle and said to the king, Your Highness, please I want you to ask any of these ladies, if I, Omo, opened my mouth and promised any of them marriage. The king asked each of them and they said no. But Omo's mother had assured them that she wants to marry each of them to Omo her son. Omo said, fine, that is number one. Number two, please your highness, can you ask any of these ladies if I told them that I have a lady I want to marry in the city when they came to visit me? The king asked and it was clear that Omo told each of them when they visited that he has a lady he wants to marry in the city. Omo said, that is number two, he continued, he said, when my mother was bringing these ladies to me, I thought they were part of the entertainment, you know I have not been to the village in two years now, Omo's mother jumped in, and shouted, how can you call these ladies entertainment, are they call or not? Omo smiled and said, mama, this is the 24th century, anything can be used as call or not. The king cut in and said, but why did you sleep with them if you know you don't want to marry them? Omo replied, Your Highness, our people says, it is a taboo for someone to offer you cola nut, and you reject it, so who am I, to disobey our tradition, I had to accept the cola nut that was offered to me. Omo's mother jumped in, and shouted. Omo, you must marry all these ladies, you don't have a choice in this matter, and Omo smiled and said, Mama you lie. He said, you are a very controlling woman, you are the reason my father is dead, and that is still in my heart till this day. My father had businesses all over the place and in the city, he was doing very well but your controlling character caused his death. 
you went to the city to confront my father's business partner over little disagreement in their business that had nothing to do with you, and while you were there, you ended up slapping the man's wife and he called off the business transactions he had with my father. That was how my father lost all the businesses he had in the city because that man was the one handling them, as my father was not allowed to live in the city because of you. He traveled in and out of the village to the city because of you. Even when he begged you to move to the city with him, because his business was going down and you were the cause of it, you refused to move to the city with him, finally he lost everything in the city. My father had stroke, shortly after his businesses in the city collapsed, and he never recovered from that stroke till he died. Before he died, each time I find time to spend with him, he would tell me, my son, never marry a controlling woman, never allow a woman run your life, that is the reason I have not married till now, even though the lady I have in the city is not controlling, I am still watching her. Mama you are also the reason my elder sister ran away. She had a man she wanted to marry in this village, but you refused and married her off to a rich man in another village, I remember how she cried for days because of that marriage. Papa was already dead so no one could stop you, finally she married the man, and two weeks into the marriage, my sister ran away from her husband's house, and traveled out of the country from there, the family had to come and collect their bride prize back from you. It has been five years since she left, and I have not set my eyes on my elder sister since then, now you want to do the same thing to me. It will never happen. I told you I have found a girl in the city that I love and would like to marry, but you said no, I must marry from this village, it must be your way or no other way. Mama, you are the one that promised this lady's marriage, you are the one that wanted grandchildren, so you will marry them and live with them, you will not ruin my life and my happiness, no. You will not. Almost mother started crying, and said she was sorry. After the king listened to Omo's story he proclaimed that all the ladies will marry Akudo, and give birth for her, as she was the one that wanted to marry them and not her son Omo. That evening Omo was about to return to the city, he came home and found all the ladies sitting with his mother who was crying from all what Omo said to her. Omo said, Mama look at the brighter side, you have your wish, you will be having eleven grandchildren and we have all the money needed to take good care of them, so mama you can start a football team with these kids if they are all boys, one of the ladies said, I am having twins. Omo said wow, congratulations to you, so mama, you have a complete football team and a referee, that is so great. He got into his car and drove back to the city. Two months later, Omo got married to Doris his girlfriend but his mother never came to the wedding. His sister who traveled came back with her new husband and their two kids to stand as Omo's mother and family in the wedding. Story ends. Moral of the story. Do not push anybody to the war, even the quietest person at some point will react when it gets too much. Number two. Women, stop controlling your husbands and family you will end up pushing them away. I remain Uncle Sam. Stay safe.